And it's like, wait, have we been watching the same thing? Like, I've been watching 100 Thieves go all through playoffs not using Cody. Like... Most people don't care about worlds, but the organization. No, I promise you most people care about uh, worlds. The world results is all that matters, actually. If if they qualify that group stage, what would you have said? Would, th would there have been a 100 Thieves disappreciation threat when I woke up this morning? Just, would it have happened? I can tell you right now, there's no way in hell it would have happened. I would have woke up to something and being like, congratulations, 100, 100 Thieves appreciation threat, you know? Actually, yeah, there probably would have been a thread about TSM being like, wow, 100 Thieves, I'm so glad we said 100 Thieves over TSM appreciation thread. That's probably what I would have seen at the very top. Sorry, I'm not, I forgot. Oh, he baited that actually. And then he missed. He baited it, but it didn't do anything because he didn't harass me. Okay. Orgs get flamed enough. Why so scandalized? I just think it's funny, dude. I think, like, what they're getting on Reddit is, like, in people are asking them to, like, get for them to get kicked out of the franchise. And I'm just like, what? That's crazy. And, and the thing is, yeah, 100 Thieves is not doing too well as an as an organization on the communication front. Um, but let's look at the other stuff, right? I would say uh, they have decent content in the heist. I think it's pretty good, okay? I would say, what else, what else, what else? Let's keep, let's keep thinking. Their merch is really good, okay? Always sells out within like five minutes. Um, Success-wise, they've been great, right? No, no problems with, with that. They are a successful organization. So the, the worst thing that, that's happened is that they've communicated really poorly this uh, this year. And you know what? Communication is a big part of being a good organization. I get that. But <laughs> I think that it's this is their first year and it's happened to organizations in the past as well, you know? But, hmm, I really didn't get that. I saw a comment that I wasn't sure if true on the subreddit about how uh, the first year of G2 was terrible and how they had many similar problems as the as the current um... Someone's here? Um... Mm, I needed to E him so he doesn't he didn't get th that, but I did not, so I died. Unfortunate. Do you think this world's run can it will impact Ricard's in prospects for a different team? Of course. Negatively or positively it's gonna leave an image of some of something. Don't you love dying as Diana every game to the jungle gank? <sighs> That's literally the only thing you have to worry about as Diana. Dodge jungle gank. Do not die to the jungle gank. I saw him on left side and I was like, you know what? There's no way he, he bought boots fast enough to be able to rotate. Or uh, right side first. And I was like, there's no way he bought boots fast enough to rotate uh, left side. So be without Predator, I didn't think he can get the kill. And it turns out, hey, without Predator, he could still get the kill. It's actually so dumb. Uh, 
I think if I eat there, I might have been able to drag out the... I might have forced the TF flash as well. That would have been best case scenario. What's one thing I would change about Diana? Oh, I just want her to be cooler. Where is mid lane? Why is mid lane gone? What? God, that feel when TF hits six and kills your bot lane. This is this is the worst time to play this champion when that happens. Wow, he actually got the crash? Should I have stayed there? I don't know. Man, he literally got a double kill on the first old bottom at level 6. I'm so sad. Sometimes when this shit happens, you're just like, well, alright. The best thing you could have done in this situation that I could have done is... Uh, whatchamacallit? Ping bottom that he's 6. You know? And while I do agree I should have done that, it sucks. I'm gonna die to the Hecarim here. Oh my god. Huh. There's four people there. They have. If and they traded one for one for top lane. Will be heard. 
D Warden and got the um, Scuttle for Vision. Perfect. Right here is a mistake for Eve, Eve to go bottom. Just let me break the mid tower with me, please. To be honest, they saved it though, so I guess it worked out. I think her even bothering to run down there was insane. Okay, so this is kind of awkward in the sense that I really desperately need one to buy Sork Shoes. Every game, why? Like, why would the Hecarim even do that if he wasn't trying to bait? You know, I'm so sad. Ignited me. Oh, it's karma ignited me. Okay. I have boots too, so I can't even run away from that. It sucks. The top lane smacking. Nice kill, really nice kill. Two top, two top, two top. Bought a lot of MR for sure.
I will straight kill Lydia. My biggest problem is I just don't know where Hecarim is. And so since we have no vision of Hecarim, it's like kind of dangerous for me. I'm actually pretty certain if TF plays up here, Hecarim's top. Gonna try oh, this is gone, okay. All right, and now you ward this. So when they de-ward this, you still have vision here. Unless they de-ward with Sweeper, then that's kind of lame. Mid needs back, needs back. Okay. Perfect. Oh my god. I used my spellbinder there. Fuck. That was such a free kill if he hit that. Ah, oh, he did sweep it. That sucks. Oh, okay. Over. I will be heard. I haven't seen a Maokai in like a million games, honestly. I forgot how tanky Maokai is when, when he gets ahead, like he's just unkillable pretty much. We want some Amumu skins? Well then cheer for me dude, I got you! Look at look at my score line. And our bot lane's catching back up, you know, that, that's really all I need, because I need, I need them to be able to cover for when the other team stacks disgusting amounts of magic resist like they're doing right now. How many skin codes have I given out? 2,000. Is this crazy how generous I am? this at all. Chosen of the moon. Do I Maokai's proxying? They could not break I'm leaving. Right, because my team is doing this. If I go up, I'm gonna TF ulti and die instantly. There's a strong incentive for me to go Void Staff third this game. I think I'm gonna not listen to it. And instead go Death Cap into Void. I can't believe I wasn't. I hit him with the Q. That sucks. No 
off by a little bit. Oh, waste my 100 stack again. I'm actually gonna go Void. I decided. It's hard for me to get the, the pick here. Careful, careful, careful. Oh my fucking... Okay, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Three ultis here. I don't even know if we can wait on I yet so far away. Healthy the wrong way. That sucks. Well, that sucks. Thank you. 
Yes, we killed him. Game sucks. That wasn't bad for us, though. My eyes are open. I cannot turn back. Your turret has been destroyed. I am not gonna die. He actually went B-Bail. Holy shit. That was such a good pick. We can maybe end the game here. By QSS, we need to be a little bit careful. I think I'm double selling these for the, for the two items. I'm pretty sure that's most optimal. You get so much AP with this. So I'm looking for Death Cap Zanyas? Yes. My, my AD is popping off. Wait, he had flush. It's flush. Flash cube. Flash cube. Flash cube. gentlemen it seems like we'll never know if I won or not looks like I just can't